<coughs> I'm back. So I decided in my last video that I was going to do a Q&A, but I find the questions on the internet. And that's what I'm doing right now. Finding questions on the internet to answer for my Q&A. I found some good questions and I'm going to see answers. Um... Which fictional character will be the most boring to me in real life? Caillou. He's a brat. No one likes him. And he's younger than me. So I would be taking care of him. And nobody wants to take care of a four-year-old brat. Next. Um... What is the best and worst purchase you've ever made? So I've had some money. I've purchased this toy. This toy was slime. And I didn't really like it. Well, I loved it actually. But then it was a waste of time because it got messed up. I messed up it trying to be so creative. And so it was just a waste. Could have still had it and it would have been good. Also, when I got it, it was like sticky and it sticked on things. Like it would, it's like cloud slime and it would stick on things. It was just not for me. Um, if you had to change your name, what would your new name be and why would you choose that name? If I wanted to change my name, it would be Leah. Leah. That's it. I would not never change my name because I like my name. I'm appreciative of my name. My brother named me some great thing. Most mothers named them. But my brother named me and that's okay because and that's like that's special. Just gonna but anyways, um Okay, it says, what are things that sound like compliments but are actually insults? Oh, I like your hair, but in reality, they don't, they don't like your hair because your hair was done for two weeks now and they're just saying something about it. Your hair looks raggedy and retarded, but they're just saying something about it. That's how you know they don't mean the compliment they give you. They they actually mean, mean ew, your hair is ugly. It's so stupid and it smells fishy. Thank you. Your braids are coming out and it's your hair is loose and you haven't done your edges yet. That's what they're saying in real life. Because if your hair had been done for like one week, two weeks, that means it's no. And they just and it was like no. Wait, let me zoom in because like I can't see these questions. They so small. I'm like, I really gonna see them. Okay, um let me zoom in more. Okay, there we go. Uh Okay, what's the worst commercial you've seen recently? Why is it so bad? So, at this point, when I'm watching YouTube, all commercials are bad. Because I don't feel like watching your stupid commercials. When I'm trying to watch my video, and I know these commercials give your videos credits. But I, personally, just want to watch the video. If I see 20 million... Mm, if I see 20 million commercials in one video i'm editing out and i won't look at that video that's how you know like at this point all commercials are bad all of them okay um what was i oh um
Um, what? Oh, it says, what's the closest thing to real magic? The closest thing to real magic is having natural hair. When you have natural, long, beautiful hair, that's magic. When you can, you have a tool, when you, all you need is jam and a comb to slick at them edges and make a style in your head, that's, that's magic right there. And if you can sing so good and dance so good, that's magic. That's the closest thing to magic to me. Oh, what is the craziest thing one of your teachers has done? The craziest thing one of my teachers have done um, is cursed in front of these kids. So, basically, there's uh, this team where we build Legos and stuff like that. And so we have a lot of arguments, this and that, but I'm barely in them. But we were like, to this instructor, oh, all girls together, they make a lot of drama. She was like, some, that's some bull. And I was like, did she say, did she say ship? S-H-I-P? But no, she really said the worst. And then she was like, I'm sorry, I didn't. She was like, yes, I really said it. And then at the end, she was like, I'm sorry, I had to say that. But you guys, I was like, mm -mm. okay. Um, um, the messiest person I know. The messiest person I know is probably... I'm sorry, my brother. The messiest person I know is my brother because, yo, when it comes to them, the pizza, things are everywhere. Yo, when he eats that pizza, he tears apart the pizza. He leaves the skin on the side of the plate, he eats that pizza, and then he grabs, no, I'm not about that. If I peel off the skin of my pizza, that means I don't want it there. But when he peels it off, he says, he, I'm saving that for later. And then, have you seen his room? Yo, rappers from 20 years ago are still under there. No cap. It's like, no, it's really cap. But, like, yo, weeks. Week, weeks of paper. Wrapping paper. Pile, um, pile up under his bed. You sleep one time in his bed, you're done. The sheets are everywhere. Everything is everywhere. Yo, I need to cl close this door because, like, I'm talking and then everybody trying to sleep, you know? You know? Okay, let's go. Touchdown. I made a touchdown. Alright. Okay, so who is... Uh, um, what is something you've always wanted to try but have been too scared to? I've always wanted to try to... um. try Instagram but if I do I will get in trouble and I will probably get hurt so we're not gonna try that uh, excuse me oh it says, what's something your brain tries to make you do and have the will? And you have to will yourself not to do it. Oh, I was about to say eat, but I go with what my brain says. If my brain says go eat some food, I'm going to go eat some food and I'm not playing. Um, uh, it says... Okay, it says, what is the dumbest way you've been injured? 
The dumbest way I've been injured is when I, when I was in daycare. We was playing tag and I slipped in the mud. Me being retarded, I had to play tag while it was rainy, muddy. And I slipped, but I stayed there for a while because my leg was hurting. I had to go to the doctors and I got some crutches, but I didn't need the crutches because I yanked those things away and I started walking because we went to the store. So, and I feel like using those crutches, so like I just like started walking regularly. <laughs> mm hmm. What? Uh, if you could know the absolute and total truth to one question, what question would you ask? Um, the question I would ask is, um, who is the favorite child? Cause I honestly, I don't really care. Actually, never mind. Because if it was somebody else, then I would be a little upset because, like, why do you have a fair child? But, like, who's the fair child? I think it's me. <laughs> no cap. And can you make water? Whatever. You can make salt water, add fresh water and salt together. <laughs> it's not funny. Okay. Anyways. Um, oh, oh, it's this question. It says, oh, stop. It says, what ridiculous thing has someone tricked you into believing, I mean, or uh, into doing or believing? Someone has tricked me into believing that the tooth fairy was real. I took up. My teeth came out when I was, like, real young. But I get, as I became old, I was like, no, it's just my mother giving me money. Because I'd be seeing my teeth in her room. That's how I realized the tooth fairy wasn't real. Um, yeah, the tooth fairy was real. Because, um, she's, the tooth fairy is just not real. That's it. That's all I got to say. I used to always want some money, like, she always used to leave me a note and, like, a quarter. A quarter and one penny, maybe? That's it, though. And a dirty penny. <laughs> Let me stop. But anyways. What? Um... What? Uh, where is the worst? Where is the worst smelling place you've been? The bathroom. When I walk in there, if my brother or my father uses the bathroom and I walk in there after they're done to take a shower or to use the bathroom, Lord help me, I have to spray ten hundred pets of pre. For breeze because yo, it be smelling like <sighs> man. Wish I ain't walk in that bathroom. Jesus Christ. All right. Um. Let's say ten more questions, maybe. Maybe. Um. Wait. Let me scroll down because like these questions are actually really dumb. Um. Describe your best. Oh, uh, which three words describe you best? Okay. Talented, pretty. Talented meaning I'm like funny and I got those good stats. Statuses. Talented, funny. No, talented, pretty. And sensitive. I'm sensitive. Like. No, and crazy. Mm -hmm. Um. 
Hmm. Wait a minute, where am I? Um. It says which comment, saying or phrases. Wait, no, not mine. I don't got mine. What's the best thing that happened to you this week? The best thing that happened to me this week is going to be Christmas. Cause. And it's Monday, so nothing happened. Wait, Sunday, yesterday. Nothing happened yesterday, really. Oh, today. Oh, my God. That fool, my God. That fool. <laughs> Yo, that was monster realistics was good and y'all suck. Wait, no, I wasn't no. Anyways, um really wanted those monster realistics, my god. And I begged my mother for those monster realistics and it was worth begging for because it was so good. Then we had some chicken and we had some french fries. Oh my god. And I was like, oh my god, no, I want the monster realistics for myself because my mother was trying to make me share. But then she was like, you can get that much and then we're going to save two for your brother and two for your um father. And I was happy. Because I would have gave you one and a half, one fourth, one sixth, but instead my mom gave two. So it wasn't that bad. Staring at the screen because I'm trying to make sure I got I'm on time. Not on time for nothing, but like good timing. Um Y'all gonna keep my finger on it just so I know. Who was your role model when you were move? When you were a child, my role model was my best friend. She taught me to be honest no matter what. Like be on, just be honest. Actually, no, I taught myself to be honest because like if I get in trouble, I gotta tell my parent. If I get in trouble and I do something bad, and they say, "Oh, I'm gonna call your parent," I tell my parent everything. Mm. Oh, also my mother. You gotta include your mother because, like, no matter what she cooks for you, she does all of that for you. That's on period. Who's your favorite teacher and why? Miss Fleet was my favorite teacher. She was nice. Um, Miss Fitton. We just gonna say because she taught me a lot. She skipped the things that our cl my class didn't need to learn, like that she knew we was gonna get right on it. And I'm smart. And Miss Jordan, Miss Jordan, she is a nice teacher. I used to not like her at all, but I just like her. Now that I was in. After when I got in fourth grade, I just liked her. I did. I wasn't near her. I wasn't with her every day. And she's just like a nice student. She took care of my sister and sister, my brother, and yeah, she became my teacher. So yeah, that was fun. Um, what was your favorite subject in school? My favorite sub subject in school was is math because it's easy for me and it's also reading because it's not easy for me but i'm acing like i'm doing better in reading <laughs> mm. what did i want to be when i grew up i wanted to be a police officer so first i wanted to be a police officer because I thought I had guns and I could protect myself. That's me in kindergarten. I thought if I became a police officer, I could protect myself and I had, because I had weapons and guns, because I had guns. You can come up here, just wait a second, because you like destroying things, so 
Who's this going? When the video ends, buddy. Hold on, y'all. I'm just looking at the time. Just looking at the time. All right, there we go. So... There, 2020. So, um, uh, what I wanted to be when I grew up, a police officer, yes, like I said, because I thought I had weapons and guns and I could protect myself because of these criminals. And this is me being young, so I was smart and I knew about the criminal stuff and the killings and stuff because I watched Criminal Minds with my sister. Um, I also wanted to be a teacher because I was in school and I thought it would be fun. Then I wanted to be a writer because I started writing stories and my family enjoyed them because it was funny. And I remember Cat World. Everybody liked that one because, like, it was cats killing each other and stuff like that. And then the cats killed this rat and it was just, like, that was, like, my favorite story, I believe. One of my favorite stories, and other than the dramatic story, I still have them. So, like, I might read them to you. And my first story that I com completed was about ch 12 chapters. It was this fairyland. So, yeah. And now I want to be a s singer. So, I'm keeping keeping track with being a singer because yeah <sighs> okay um i love this one okay what's your favorite cheesy pickup line have you ever used it for real i made this cheesy pickup line um, so basically, it was my friend and these two other people, and so, and the other person, I was like, you must live up the street next to the homeless shelter and the dumpsters, <laughs> and that is so funny to me, I want, I don't seem like it, but like, it's funny. And nobody else, I was just sitting there like, I was laughing. Everybody else was like, stop. Because, like, they didn't think it was funny, and I thought it was funny. Like, no. Then I said something mean, and it went on. Anyways, um. <laughs> Question 35. Alright. My perfect job would be a singer, like I said. Um, What is your greatest achievement? One of my greatest achievements is singing good. And another one is... Um, uh, so, in third grade, I had level 5... I had the hot like the highest score in Maryland. I believe that's what she said. I had a five and a five of fifth grade. Excuse me, no, a park score fifth grade level. I had the highest score in the school. I had a five and a five, a fifth grade level, um, score for math and for reading. So yeah, that's one of Sorry for breaking, but like, I just put it up there. That's the question. And this is the last one. If I see even good ones out. Have you ever won a trophy or a medal? Yes, I have this summer camp where we are taught Taekwondo. And so basically I won a medal because I never cried. I was a good sport. 
I want a medal, and everybody won this medal, and then I want a trophy for being a good sport. Never cried, never acted up. Yup. I was that girl. Hmm. Tell me I was sucking on someone. And it was on um, my plan. Actually, I'm playing. Maybe I'm not. Anyways. Um. The longest word I know. I don't know. I don't keep track of the letters. Who is the most inspirational person to you? My mom. I just love her. That's just that. Um. Wait a minute. It says, which would you prefer? Three wishes or five years? Wait, no. Three wishes or over five years or one wish right now? What? Three wishes over five years or one wish right now? I wish I had all the wishes in the world. One wish, one wish right now, because it doesn't say what I can't wish for. So all the wishes in the world, I can get whatever I want. It's on period. If you could have one wish come true, what would it be? To have all the wishes in the world, so when I want to wish for something, I'll get it. That's on period. Um. No, I've never. Did you ever keep a New Year's resolution? I'm not about that, so I, no, I never made one. What was your favorite birthday party or Christmas present? So my favorite birthday party was probably this year's. I had a birthday party or it was like a few years back. Um... Ooh, that's a good one. What was the worst present present you've received? So the worst present I received was I know the Bible is good, but a Bible and a coat. I got this from my grandparents, so I believe like two years ago on Christmas Eve. I was like, can I please, can I please open one gift now? I really wanted to open one gift. So um finally they let me open up the one gift and open up the biggest because i was like dumb a dumb nut and i decided to open up the biggest gift because i thought it was gonna be the best gift i was looking at that present all year so then all of us then all of a sudden i opened it and then it was a coat and a bottle everybody started laughing at me i went upstairs with my present and i started to be angry i didn't come i didn't come downstairs after that so yeah that was pretty sad um what was your favorite childhood toy? Oh, that's somebody else. I was about to say, somebody on my roof? Anyways. It says, oh, what's your favorite childhood toy? April. My favorite childhood toy is April. April is my mother's, no, it's my sister's toy that my mother gave to me. It's a stuffed animal and I always use it just in case I want to be reminded of my mom. And I sleep with it and then if I go somewhere I'm scared to go, I'll take April. Um, My mother be like, really girl? I'll be like, yes, yes, I'm bringing it. Bringing her. Uh, I'm not getting emotional. I'm wiping my eyes. It's crushing my eyes. I don't want no crushing my eyes. And you think I'm crying? No, I'm not crying. Dead serious. You see tears in my eyes? No. You see my hand wet? No. Anyways. Where would you like to be in five years' time? That mean I'm going to be 16. I would like to be in a good high school with some nice friends. I would like to still be with my friend Jalen because we've been through everything. So, yeah. And me studying my singing career. <laughs> I, what skill would you love to learn? I would love to learn how to get those high pitch, pitches. 
um, when I sing and I would like to, um, Like, I would like the whole my breath, like, when I sing, like, so I can let out more energy. I also like to learn how to dance, gymnastics, and cheerleading. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to do a few more just because it's fun, you know. Never mind, guys, because, like, I've been saying that I was going to end the video and I've never into the video. So y'all hope y'all enjoyed this video and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You didn't really get to say anything video. If you enjoyed this Q and A, comment down below if you want some more. Peace out.